How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mokotawa Shoujo. Um, I have this little announcement to say is that um, if you guys want to record with me or if you want to, I don't know, play games, I guess, with me and, you know, anything like that, I'm open for that. So if you guys want to, you know, uh, talk with me, Mitchell, Brandon, Juan, um, we... I wouldn't mind adding you on Skype and everything like that. So uh, that's just a little thing that I want to say. And really, I didn't feel like actually doing this. But, you know, that's just a heads up. If you guys want to record with me and the others, then it's fine. Uh, as long as you could withstand uh, us screaming like idiots or something like that, then... Uh, we're pretty much open for anyone who wants to join in and record with us. So anyways, uh, in the previous part, um, we, I think, I, it's been a while since I, I, I'm sorry I keep going like a week without Katara Shoujo or stuff like that. So hopefully I could keep this going, um, and hopefully I get the momentum to actually continue recording Katara Shoujo. But in the previous part, uh, we talked to Hideki and now we're in the park, I think. Where Hideki, honestly, I honestly don't know what the what's going on. So anyway, so let us just load it up and use mention. This is his attempt to salvage the conversation. And I'm happy to oblige. Oblige? I think that's oblige. <laughs> I don't know. Fishing and now kites too. Shizune really likes all these relaxing hobbies. Fighter- oh. What the fuck? That's really creepy. <laughs> I I was reading, and now that <laughs> just seeing that, it's just like I feel like this is like a jump scare. <laughs> Hideki freezes as Misha appears behind him and puts her hands over his eyes. Hi. Oh, fuck me. Hi, hi. Guess who? Oh, f shit. <laughs> he seemed to finally be loosening up too. Hi Misha, is Shizune with you? Hey, seriously, that looks really creepy. Look at that. Right here. Like, it looks like he got. <laughs> it looks like somebody stabbed him. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it looks like that if he goes if he disappears, Misha's gonna have like this creepy ass smile or some shit like that. Hey Chan, no spoilers. Don't spoil it. Don't ruin the surprise, okay? Well, it's pretty fucking obvious. God damn it. <laughs> Misha. Bush? Bush? Cheney? Is that supposed to be- Is that supposed to reference something? <laughs> Bingo, that's right. But it was too easy, somehow. I don't know what she meant means by somehow. Too many people can tell it to me. I want to surprise someone. I thought for sure that Hideki would be fooled. Why wouldn't you- Why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh my god. Ready? Two minutes in, and I feel like I just had my, like, brain just become cream. You're the only person who does that. You and kidnappers. <laughs> okay, so he's just a kidnapper. Really? I'm not... No, I... I <laughs> Why do you laugh? Why does he think he asks too many fucking questions? Are you giving us out trouble? I thought you would take him somewhere more exciting than the park. It is. It is even. It is. Nah, I can't even read. It is even. Oh fuck! It isn't even that far from home. You're so lazy. Hey, thank you. Are you giving a chance? God damn it! He wanted to come here. Why are you so argumentative? What? I have to keep my little brother in line. What is she saying? <laughs> You must be kept in line. Thank you. At least Misha's not doing that. God damn it. Uh, really? They're ready to go at each other's throats this quickly. On one hand, I've heard that siblings fights, fighting so much isn't uncommon. And the fact that they fight at all proves there has to be some level of communication going on. So it's nice. So it's nice they get along. They argue all the way back home. Misha translates to Shiz for Shizune and... I for Hideki. So it took, looks more like we're the ones arguing instead, except not really. Nobody can listen to Misha and believe that. The day got entertaining at the, in the end, at least. Yeah, 
Apparently Mish is a freaking kidnapper. I, I still don't know why I don't skip this, but you know, fuck it. Shit happens. Uh. Okay. Who the fuck's that? <laughs> I just realized that. that, that <laughs> this concerns me right here. This, pa this painting. I mean, a painting. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying painting this picture that's concerning and that's a weird looking lamp I don't like th that's a weird lamp despite having only been f here for two days it feels like it's been much longer I wake up feeling more tired than refreshed maybe because I've been moving around almost constantly since I got here whatever the reason it's making me get up unusually late each day I like sleeping in but it could be inconvenient if it ends up becoming a habit yeah that's a bad habit. I can hear a deep male voice shouting loudly in the background. It must be Shizune's dad. Or maybe, but well, besides this place, it's creditors. More likely the former since the yelling doesn't seem angry, just loud. HOLY SHIT! <laughs> Why does he have a sword? Oh my god! I hope he doesn't miss leg day! <laughs> Shizune, Misha, and Hideki are sitting in the living room. Having a one-sided conversation with a giant bear man. Bear man! That is... That's like a most generic like Asian dude. I'm being that serious. Like, well, not the body, but like the beard. And that pointy beard. Oh, shit. Um, who alternates between shuffling away food from a plate balanced on his leg. On his leg and twirling a sword. Why is he carrying a sword? From what Shizuya and Hideki are like, I'd expected their dad to be... A very reserved, clean cut, possibly androgynous person, so I'm pretty surprised. I'm surprised for a while until he starts talking to me. Hello! Oh shit! <laughs> Huge man! That's his name! Hello, you must be Shizune's other friend. Did you have a good night's rest? The guest rooms are a bit sparse. If there is anything you need, feel free to tell me. He is very happy too. Thanks, you must be Shizune's father. It's nice to meet you. I'm Shizune Shizune's classmate, Hisao. Fucking Nakai. The, the pleasure is mine. I've wanted to- I've wanted to- I wanted to meet you after hearing that I could have a second guest in my house. Unexpected. You hear something like that and obviously you want to see what pr that person is like. Would you like my business card? <laughs> That's my all! Yes! I would like his business! He holds up a case full of them for a second, and I can see that his name is Jigoro, and Higoro? I think Jay's silent, right? J uh, whatever, and that his office hours are from 8 to 6. They also say that he's a consultant. What other prepared guy carrying his cards around, cards case around in his own home? <laughs> he gives it to his kids, who my business card? He's like, Dad, I live with you. <laughs> We're just sitting down to a slightly late lunch. You're just in time to join us. Good. Pick a place to sit down and I'll bring you a plate. I hope you don't mind eating bear liver. I thought that bear liver was toxic. Either way, the thought of eating a bear liver doesn't appeal to me other than for the ability to, talk, to tell people I've eaten bear liver. I suppose it won't hurt to try it, but Shizune's dad merely laughs. I'm just making a joke, although maybe... It wouldn't be such a bad idea to cook up some bear livers for you kids. They will make you strong. Look at him! We're actually having omelets. I'll make you one right now. Is that unusual for you? Having an omelet for lunch? It's egg. Very unusual. Fuck! <laughs> no, not at all. Fucking Hideki. Higaro vanishes to where the kitchen must be. I'm surprised that despite living in this place, he has to cook my lunch. Maybe he only cooks because he likes to. Oh my god, my my, ugh, my streaming. My steaming plate of food is done in a very short time. It smells really good. Are you in the student council like Shizune? Is the student council that busy that Shizune has to drag her friends along with her everywhere she goes? Sometimes a vacation is just a vacation. You're right about the student council part. I think we're just here for fun, I, though. I see, is that right? When I was young, our student councils had so much work that I don't think we could have a f off afforded aff afforded oh okay H could have afforded going on vacation it must be nice having so much free time should give you plenty of time to think about your future damn dude 
I do not look. I look. I do not like the direction this discussion is taking, and start and start thinking about how to avoid it. Have you thought about that? About that? About what you want to do? No, I haven't given it much thought recently. What do you do if you don't mind me asking? It must be something pretty cool if you if it can get you a house like this. Why do you want to know that? Children aren't interested in business. What business of yours is my business? Suspicious. Why? The, why does he have like? Okay, so he says like two things, and then he goes into like. Wait, what did he just say like a few minutes ago? Oh crap! What did he say a few minutes ago? But like, and then he's like suspicious. Are you some kind of tax man, boy? I guess he really does not like being asked questions. I feel like he's gonna kick your ass. Hichan isn't a tax collector's boy, I think. Hichan, what do your parents do? You never told us. You, be quiet. Don't interrupt me. I hate being interrupted. Rude. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, uh, <laughs> damn, dude. She literally doesn't look too happy with this turn of events. Even with Misha unable to sign to her what's going on, she can read the mood easily. Her glare becomes more smoldering as Higaro Higaro continues to rant. One more thing, my fishing equipment. I came home and it was just in a big pile in the corner. Rods just stacked haphazardly on top of a tackle. That was me. I can't remember if it was actually was him. If it wasn't, I appreciate that he's willing to take one for the team. It doesn't matter because Higaro ignores him without skipping a beat. Well, anyway, I'm glad that my fishing equipment could provide so much entertainment for my daughter's friends. They did not even tell me you were going to be using them. Those are expensive, custom-made poles, not for dilettants. Damn. I suddenly become aware of the eggshell fragments in my omelet. Is he just a bad cook? Does he eat them with heat them for the calcium? Were they purposely added there to give me even more discomfort? I actually ate some shells, alright? So, I know how that feels. It's weird. Though confused, I'm not sure as unnerved as I think I would normally be. Then again, my life has been pretty strange lately and I keep running into all sorts of different people. Nothing surprises me anymore. They didn't even properly clean them after use. Terrible. Do you even know how to fish? <laughs> Unlikely. Do you even fish, bro? Look at him. Oh. Okay. Um. I have no idea where I left off because I just went to get something to drink. Let me just open it. Crap. <laughs> it's really close to the mic. Oh, no. I just spilled it. Oh. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Um, do you even know how to fish? Unlikely. There are not enough poles here for all of you. How does that work? Did you all share? One person baits the hook and another casts? Two people to reel? Incompetent. Damn! <laughs> well, six of us went. So, we couldn't- Oh shit, what's going on with my mouse? Where's my mouse going? Oh wait, oh god damn it. Uh, the ghost is real. <laughs> all six, well, six of us went. So we couldn't do all do it at the same time. First it was just me, Akira, Hideki, and Misha. Stop talking! That sounds unspeakably dirty. I haven't had enough of your filth. Damn, how vulgar. Make sure that your statements are not so embarrassingly, carelessly worded next time. What? <laughs> what? You are so disrespectful! Amazing! Are you are all delinquent types like this? Even the way you dress shows flippant disregard for authority. Sweater vest? Disgraceful! <gasps> a freaking Hawaiian shirt! Del delinquent? I'm in the student council! I'm hurt by his comment on my sweater. <laughs> sweater vest! <laughs> Especially when it comes from a guy in such a tacky shirt. I guess I can't really say anything though. He has a sword. He al might also kill bears. Misha Lally puts her plate down on the table. Damn. That was delicious! Oh, okay, Shichan and I are done now. Shichan, are you too, right? We should get going. What a simple yet effective exit strategy. I barely have that time to put down my plate before they pull me up and out of there and finally outside. Unbelievable! It's like I'm really watching an interrogation. This is not a cop show. Guests definitely have responsibilities, but hasn't he ever heard of being a gracious host? Really? Misha attempts to stoply mimic- You fucking asshole! 
<laughs> Sloppily Slop, 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 mimic Shizune's anger. Angry. What? Chopping gestures as best as she can. She has the expression down too, but the tone of her voice is the same as ever. Thus lacking the anger necessary to bring it all together. Wahaha. <laughs> Don't take it too hard to Chan. Chan's dad does this to everyone. I think it's like a joke. That was the most aggressive joke possible. I'm also not at, at well convinced that it was a joke, considering that ha this hastily staged retreat. But this isn't a good moment to discuss how Shizune's father might be a jerk. Chan, let's go shopping! Fuck that! <laughs>